Hey guys, this is Simon Sage from Into Mobile. Today we are unboxing the Rogers Palm Pre 2. It uh, just went on sale today for 99 bucks on a three-year contract. It's coming soon to Verizon down in the U.S. And if you can't wait, you can buy an unlocked version direct from Palm for 450 bucks. So um, yeah, the, this is the first phone that Palm and HP have made together. Uh, it isn't a huge evolution on uh, the Palm Pre Plus. Um, Hardware-wise, you'll see that uh, it's, a, it's a glass screen. Uh, we've got a uh, volume rocker on the side, that's pretty familiar. We've got on the back a new upgraded 5 megapixel camera plus LED flash. The old one was 3.2 megapixels. Up top we have the power switch and the mute switch, 3.5 millimeter standard headphone jack. Uh, on this side we have a micro USB slot and um, on the bottom not much plus we have a full slide out keyboard here uh, the keyboard looks more or less the same but actually we have uh, the Palm Pre Plus here for comparison if you want to take a look keys look uh, a little bit chubbier I guess maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit fatter you can be the judge there some complain that uh, the Palm Pre's keyboard is a little too cramped, but uh, I, I've gotten used to it, and I'm, I'm usually a BlackBerry user. That being said, uh, I'm, I'm not overly familiar with the new features in uh, WebOS 2.0 launching on this device. Uh, Specs-wise, the Palm Pre 2 has uh, 16 gigabytes of hard drive space, um, storage memory, sorry. Uh, it has uh, one gigahertz processor, which is also another upgrade. Um, the original Palm Pre Plus actually got a lot of flack for being slow, so uh, a, a new processor is definitely needed. Um, what else do we have on there? 512 megabytes of RAM, a 3.2 inch half EJ display, uh, 3.1 inch, sorry, that's 320 by 480, uh, and uh, the usual stuff like HSPA 3G and uh, Wi-Fi BG, as well as a mobile hotspot capability. Still booting up there. Uh, WebOS is best known for uh, Synergy, where you can uh, synchronize your contacts with social networks uh, so that they, they, they automatically stay updated with stuff from Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I mean, like right, right now I'm finding the hardware is very similar to the Pre Plus. You'll, you'll notice the back is pretty much identical. Um, actually, the, uh, the the battery doors uh, need to be uh, specially designed to work with their touchstone dock, which allows you to wirelessly charge. I am not Deutsch Bestagian, sorry. No, let's go with English. Yeah, the touchstone dock is actually really cool, and in uh, WebOS 2.0 they have a feature called... Um, confirm English, wait. I want to make sure that's Canadian English, the Queen's English, English, Canada. There we go. Yes. So, um, so yeah, the WebOS 2.0 has uh, a feature called exposition, I think, where uh, applications can actually recognize when you have it on this wireless charging dock and launch into specific application, specific uses of the application. Uh, I believe I already have a profile here, so I will just secretively type that in. So um, I have finished logging in with the Palm Pre 2 and skipping over the tutorials. Um, it's all pretty standard stuff. If you've seen WebOS in action before at all, uh, one of the first gestures you have is this thing to bring up a shortcut bar that you can uh, activate from anywhere else in the OS. Um, you also have the up gesture for when you want to go into card view. This is how WebOS handles multitasking. So that's uh, my email address, not set up quite yet. But um, so that, that, that's how you switch between apps. Uh, WebOS 2.0 actually introduced a new way of handling uh, similar apps. So if I wanted to keep these two together, I could stack them together and uh, launch into maybe uh, the web browser. So. We have some contact management stuff over there that I could still flick up and dismiss. And we've got the web browser here. 
So uh, I believe the web the web browser is also WebKit based. It has um, it has a pinch to zoom. Um, I haven't spent too too much time on the WebOS browser, but uh, it's very sensitive actually. Even uh, even though it's only a half VGA display, it's still very crisp. Renders relatively quickly. You could pull up uh, into mobile here. Finding the keyboard is uh, relatively easy to type on. Okay. Here we go. Unable to resolve host. Oh, that's because I was looking for, for into mobile. No I. Let's try that. So Into Mobile is uh, is a fairly beefy site. So I, I find when it comes to mobile browsers, it, it tends to kind of put them through the paces. But uh, as you can see, that that didn't take too too long, did it? We can double tap there to zoom in as well. It's uh, overall pretty snappy. Uh, WebOS also has a, a dedicated app store called the App Catalog. Uh, if you want to download stuff. Well, one of the great things about WebOS, actually the reason it's called WebOS is because apps are made using uh, web uh, languages like XML and CSS and all that stuff. So uh, very accessible to third-party app developers. However, the uh, the kind of small market share for WebOS devices means that uh, you, you won't have the same kind of selection that uh, you're used to in say iPhone or Android. Uh, there, there are a couple of reasonably good ones. I think actually Angry Birds came to uh, WebOS recently. Got a game from Gameloft there. That's a relatively big name. So uh, that is the Palm Pre 2 for now. We're going to have a full review coming up soon. Uh, but uh, just keep an eye on IntoMobile.com.